Number 11. When you're going out to eat, look at the menu before you get there. Now, what I mean by this, normally, like every other weekend, me and my girls, we have girls' nights. Normally, we're texting back and forth, so I know where we're going. So, what I would do is, I will pull up the restaurant, um, on, I'll pull up their website, I'll pull up their um, menu, their nutrition facts, I'll look at the menu, look at the calories, look at the carbs, and I can make my choices. So, when I get to that restaurant, I don't, I can order because I already know what I want so I can order what I want and I know what I'm taking into my body and I'm not going over what I set for myself you know my goals I'm not going over that you know number 12 never look at your journey as a diet unless you're on a diet you know if you're on a diet that's something else but if you're on a journey for the rest of your life or for years and years to come never look at your journey as a diet and what I mean by that is um, a lot of a lot of us we we eat you know we eat healthy and then if we want some ice cream or we want a donut or we want some cookies and then we go out and eat some cookies we look at it as we failed oh my god i failed i didn't succeed oh my god i feel awful why do you feel awful do you really expect not to eat sweets for the rest of your life no that's not reality, you guys. Like I was saying, that's not reality. This is a journey for the rest of your life. As long as you don't go overboard, as long as you eat sweets in moderation, you know, sometimes when you crave it, that's fine. You didn't fail. You know what I'm saying? And that goes to number 13, about depriving yourself. Never deprive yourself of something that you want. The other day I wanted a cookie so bad and I hardly ever have cravings and my mom talk about me so all the time because she say oh my god you're like a year and a half almost into your journey and all of a sudden now you're having cravings like most people have cravings at the beginning <laughs> so yeah you know I was like craving a cookie so I had me I got me a cookie you know what I'm saying and I don't look at that as um failing on my journey I don't look at that as a failure. It's a part of my journey. If I want something, I'm going to eat it because if I don't eat it, I'm going to continue to crave it. I'm going to I'm going to continue to want it and then when I do get it and I if I and if I keep depriving myself and I do get it, I'm going to eat way more than I wanted at the beginning. You know, when I first craved it. When I first craved it um, the other day, I ate, you know, one, it was a big cookie, but I ate <laughs> one cookie. Now, if I would have just, if I was like, no, I'm not going to eat it, I'm going to fail, no, 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 that's just bad. Then, if I would have waited and waited and waited, I probably would have got a whole bag of cookies and ate the whole thing, you know. Just eat everything in moderation. Make, you know, do it sensibly. Number 14. Take pictures measure yourself weigh yourself at the beginning of your journey do all of that and i'm really upset at myself that i didn't do a video um not that i would have showed you guys i'm not gonna lie but i am really mad at myself that i didn't do a video or a picture of the scale when i first stepped on it at the beginning of my journey um, i'm really 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 mad at myself that i didn't do that because I would love to show you guys the scale before and the scale, you know, when I get ready to do my first weigh-in. Um, that should be soon, sooner than later. Uh, I would have loved to show you guys the difference because I know you guys are going to be like, but, um, yeah, you know, um, take pictures, you know, I'm able to, I, I did, luckily I did take pictures at the beginning of my journey and I'm taking pictures now and stuff like that. And it's motivation and, and like measure yourself, your neck, your arms, your legs, stuff like that. Measure yourself. It's motivating. I'm telling you guys, it's motivating I, I made me a facebook page and i will put the link below um i have pictures up um i'm gonna take another picture when i lose 150 pounds in that same outfit and i'm gonna post it up but it's so motivating you guys to go back and because sometimes when i look in the mirror i don't see a difference believe it or not you guys that same girl that's in that purple and when you go to my facebook page you'll know what i'm talking about that same girl that's in that purple sitting down 
I still see her when I look in the mirror, believe it or not. The only difference I see is when I look at pictures, like before and after pictures, I'll be like, wow. And it's motivating. It is so motivating to see yourself. It makes you want to do more. It makes you want to just get up and be like, oh my God, I'm doing this. I can do it. I can do it. And it, it just is so motivating, you guys. So make sure you weigh yourself at the beginning of your journey. Um, take pictures. If you, if you didn't do it at the beginning, start now. Measure yourself because it's so motivating to see that before and that after or that before and now. Okay, number 15. Eating healthy does not mean eating dry lettuce and skinless, seasonless chicken. <laughs> now, the reason I say that is because I got an email from one of my lovely, lovely um, subbies. And she was telling me, she was like, oh my God, I just want to start this journey. But I don't want to sit around here and eat dry lettuce and skinless dry chicken all day. And I thought that was so funny. Because um, as you guys know, I have a lot of food videos. And um, none of them is dry lettuce and skinless chicken. Um, so, you know, I directed her to some of my videos. Um, they have so many healthy food ideas out there, you guys. It is crazy. Um, I showed you guys in one of my videos. It was a, um, I think it was, a, it's called Heart Healthy. And it's a book just full of recipes, you guys. Full of awesome recipes. I showed you guys also in a um, video. Um, it was an app that I had and I still have it and I have so many apps it's going to take me forever to look through it and find it. But anyway, I'll put the apps, the name of the apps below just in case you missed that video. Um, the apps, they have so many apps out there that's full of healthy recipes and it's not hard stuff you guys it's not hard stuff at all it's easy stuff you can always tweak stuff the way you want to tweak it it's so many ideas out there i mean i mean it's as simple as going to the library and getting a recipe book and just tweaking the recipe how you want to tweak it you guys know that i will take some fried chicken and totally do it the opposite of what you know is how it's traditionally done um it's always Tweaking stuff the way um, the way you want to tweak it in a healthier way. These healthy foods are like right in the palm of your hand, literally. They have so many apps out there that's just full of different healthy recipes. We have the internet. All you have to do is Google like healthy eating, healthy recipes, stuff like that. I mean, it's crazy. And like I said, you do not have to follow what they put in that recipe, but it will give you ideas, you guys. Like when I look at recipes, it gives me like so many different ideas. I'll be like, I can't do that. I can't be putting wine all over chicken and stuff, but I can do this instead. You know what I'm saying? It gives me so many healthy ideas. So you don't have to eat dry food and all that great stuff it's so many i cannot stress this enough there's no reason do you hear me there's no reason whatsoever that you should get bored with eating healthy eating healthy is not a punishment eating healthy can be very fun and also you guys i will put some of my food idea videos below so you guys can check it out and hopefully it will give you some ideas on different foods different food ideas things like that you can tweak it however you want you do not have to do exactly what i do all right you guys so those are my 15 things that i've been following on my journey i hope they are helpful um like i said what i say is not law it's just ideas and i hope that the way i do my journey will come in handy i hope that it will be helpful to you and your journey um like i said i do have a facebook page i will link it below so thank you guys so very much for coming to Kamonica's channel i will see you guys soon. Love you guys. Peace.